Hello YouTubers, John P.I. here and uh, today in this video I want to talk about how to manipulate or not really manipulate but get somebody to uh, see your way of thinking uh, a bit of mind control if you will okay a lot of times you know say for example there's something that you want to point out to somebody you there's something that you want them to learn but they're not very receptive they might be a very closed-minded individual and their way is always right and they're just not very open-minded to uh, criticism or new ideas or new approaches and you know that there's a better way you just want to show them and rather than taking a very direct approach and telling them hey this is what you should do they're not going to listen to that okay they will reject it and they won't they won't listen to it in many cases many people are like this uh, these are these are very difficult people to work with some of the very smartest people in the world are going to be very open-minded they want to hear the opinions of other peoples. They want to hear um, uh, many different um, many different angles and perspectives from different people. Okay, that's what a smart person is looking for. But many people are not really like that. They have their own thought. They have their own very narrow-minded focus and that is what they are really concerned with that's all they that's all they know so a lot of times I have found that the best approach is to let the person feel like they have made the discovery on their own so say for example you are a web designer right you're building a website and you want to um, you want to implement a new feature some new functionality that's going to be really great for the visitors and you know that it would be really good if you implemented this on on the website uh, rather than telling the client directly and saying hey you know mr. client why don't we add blah 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 feature rather than going in, in a very direct approach like that because most likely they might reject you they might reject the idea or they might think it's you know far-fetched they want to own their own ideas okay so you you have to take a different approach in a certain situation like that if you were building a website for a client you might want to say well I wonder if there's some way we could do such and such okay allow them to make make it feel like they're making the discovery on their own so then you you propose a question to them and you say I wonder if we could do such and such in this way and then that will get them thinking then they'll get off the phone call with you and they'll start thinking well yeah you know what that I wonder if we could do something to make this make implement a feature on the website to accomplish this task and then they they feel like they're making the discovery on their own now all you really did was just give them a little nudge okay that's all you did you just gave them a little nudge to try to push them in the right direction to come around to your way of thinking to come around to your your idea rather than trying to sell them on the idea or push the idea on them hey why don't we you know implement this feature and then this will be great they're not going to be very receptive to that um, so keep this in mind um, I'm going to keep this video really short but I've found that one of the best ways when you're dealing with other people is make make them feel like they were the ones who made the discovery and then once they make the discovery they want to go around and share it with everybody else they want to go and share it with all their friends and they feel like they're the important person the one who has a stroke of genius when really it was you who had the stroke of genius you just kind of nudged them along but they'll they'll never be none the wiser okay they'll never know uh, that's it for this video um, if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel make sure you share on Google Plus Twitter Facebook Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.